this is Danielle, the domestic scientist, and in today's video, I'm going to create a restoration hardware inspired look for my living room. So stay tuned. I have several pieces of restoration hardware inspired decor, and I want to make sure that I put a unifying piece of art right here in the middle as the focal point to tie all of these pieces together. So when it comes to art, the Restoration Hardware style is mostly abstract, and they have a lot of different styles of abstract paintings on their website. I happen to really like this one because of the diffused colors and that dripping paint effect. I happen to find something very similar to it at the Home Goods store, however, it was a little too small. I continue to shop because I want to find something that was really going to make an impact. My ceilings are a good 12 feet high in my living room and that area above the fireplace is about eight feet. So I'm looking for something that's a little bit larger than five feet to six feet, something in that area, because I really wanna make sure it makes an impact and it is a focal point. So as you can see, I went through tons of art between at home and home goods, and I did find something really special that you're going to see at the end for the big reveal. So one of the things I really like about Restoration Hardware is they have a mostly European style, but they do mix in some ethnic pieces. I happen to see these Indonesian stone currency discs on their website and I love them. They have a variety of styles and sizes and they start off at $168. So I happen to be at my local home goods and I did find something very similar. Uh, the one that I've purchased here is a bronze metal disc it is mounted on a metal stand and the base is either a quartz or a white marble and I absolutely love this piece. So the next piece I want to use is originating out of Papua New Guinea. Now Restoration Hardware does make reproductions of these tribal shell and feather collars. I happen to find some at my local at home store and also at home goods. However, they were all a bit on the small side and my fireplace cutout is a good three by three and a half feet. So I decided to make a DIY version of it and I was able to get it to about 27 to 28 inches wide. So I am going to use my DIY for today's look. I do have a link to my DIY video if you're more interested in learning how I made my tribal necklace. Okay, so the next piece you have probably seen all over YouTube because everybody who is into restoration hardware style has been getting these torso sculptures. Now, when it comes to the restoration hardware website, they do have two different fragment sculptures. The first one is cracked and it's straight up and down. This one goes for over a thousand dollars. And then there is another one that is slightly twisted and that torso sculpture is not cracked, but it goes for about five hundred or so and they are super popular however home goods came out with their own version that is both cracked and twisted so I happened to find one in the store at home goods for about $60 now I was so excited because I when I shop in home goods I typically go through the whole store and put everything in the cart that I'm interested in and then I go in the back I sit in the back corner and I kind of edit my cart and determine what I'm actually going to purchase and what I'm going to put back so I happened to find some pillows and I was on the fence about them I sent a picture to my husband I was waiting for his response and if he didn't like the pillows I was just gonna put them back so as I was going to put them back because of course he hated the pillows I rounded the corner and I saw the torso sculpture and it wasn't there before so at this point I was so excited I hurried up I put it in my cart and I got home now I was all set to do a haul video however no sooner than I got home I saw that Cheryl from I Style My Style had just done her video where she found her own torso sculpture and I believe she got hers off of Wayfair 
So I then decided I was gonna wait a few days and then I was going to do a haul video. But I was on the phone with Ellen and she happened to just find hers and she did a live and she had her torso sculpture. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna wait. Because after that, when I looked on YouTube, about four or five other YouTubers had it as well. So I knew I got a really trendy find. Now this one is for me, one of the more exciting pieces because the scale of it does really fit my space very well. And at some point, I would love to put some additional lighting on it. So I'm super excited about this find. So the room that I'm decorating in my home is very large and it does have a museum-like feel. So my goal is to make sure that I use several pieces that are larger and make really an impact for me and that have some sort of story or significance behind it. Now Restoration Hardware has a line of African carved uh, stool reproductions on their website and this is one of them that looks closest to the one that I have. Now I happen to find my Ashanti stool at a local African art store and it's one of the first things that I purchased for my living room. At the time that I made this purchase, I wasn't necessarily looking to do a restoration hardware look. I just wanted to find something that was unique and I wanted to be a patron of some of the local African stores. So I was able to get a stool and I actually think mine's is much better than the ones they have on restoration hardware. And actually, it wasn't until after um, I had purchased the stool that I even went to Restoration Hardware's website to kind of get some inspiration for how I was going to decorate my living room. So for me, this is another very special cultural find, and I'm so excited to have it. So when it comes to having that curated museum look for your home, I think a bust is an essential item. Now Restoration Hardware does have a number of busts on their website. However, busts are very old items. So you can typically find them in a good furniture consignment store or online. Now I happen to find one at a museum and if I could find one like this one, I would be so excited because it has multiple different colors and I think that that's really unique. What I was able to find for my home, however, is this plain gray one from Home Goods. And this one is a little bit small for my space, so when I do find a larger one, I will be sure to swap it out. So the last major piece that I'm gonna to add to my living room is my Unity carving. Now they don't have anything like this on the Restoration Hardware website, but it does fit comfortably with the other cultural pieces that I already own. What I love most about this Unity carving is it depicts several different people whose arms are interlocked and interwoven and is carved from a single piece of wood. So now for my piece of unifying art. We found this very large um, painting at my local home goods. It's about five and a half feet tall, so it's a little bit shorter than I am, and it's about, I think, at least three feet wide. So it's definitely going to make an impact in our space. So my husband is going to get it hung for me and make sure everything is nicely secured. Now, funny story, there were two of these in the home goods, and we were deciding as to whether or not we were going to get it. And while we were debating, a lady came and just snatched out one from up under us. And so we decided to go ahead and get the second one because we really did not want to miss out. Once we got it in the space, we were very happy with it and we knew it was the right choice to make. And now here is the space pulled together. I love the way everything turned out. Now for my coffee table, I'm using my pedestal bowl that I just found at a local furniture consignment store. And then I have on my second layer of my coffee table, a dough bowl filled with some decorative spheres. So I absolutely love the way that this room has turned out. I think it does have a very restoration hardware inspired look. However, I did have to make a couple of changes to bring everything together. The first thing I did was I removed my turquoise and gray area rug that I really love. I found that at a Value City Furniture. For right now, it is in my home office and I took this neutral rug from my home office and moved it into my living room. Now that particular rug, as well as the art piece, does have some browns, some grays, some whites, some tans, and some blacks in it. And so I think that that helps to unify the color pattern for this room.
So let's take a moment to talk about the overall look that we've achieved today. I'm really happy with the way things turned out. And I think it's because even though I used a lot of restoration hardware inspired pieces, the room is still very much me. So one of the things that I did was I wanted to work with the architectural features that I have and not against it. Because I have these large cutouts and I have this high ceiling, it kind of looks a little bit like a museum. And so I wanted to make sure that I featured each piece. You could very well create vignettes on the coffee table and in these fireplace cutouts. But in my opinion, that works a little bit against the architectural features that I already have. Now, that being said, I wanted to make sure that every piece that I selected was something that I was absolutely in love with. And I think I have accomplished that. Adding this large scale piece of art really adds to the grandeur of the room and it really makes you appreciate the high ceilings, which is another important architectural feature. The other thing that I would say about this room and the look that I've created is, again, it is very unisex. It's something I can appreciate and something my husband can appreciate as well. Today's video is a part of a YouTube collaboration entitled The Restoration Hardware Look for Less 2020. The hosts for this collaboration are myself, Danielle the Domestic Scientist, and Glamour Ellen. The co-hosts are Styling with Stacy, Really Good Living with Lady Phoenix, Cheryl of I Style My Style, and Candy of DIY Design by CCW. Be sure to check out each of the host channels as well as the collaboration playlist. There are a lot of YouTube content creators out there doing a restoration inspired look for less. Now, as always, I'm Danielle, the domestic scientist, and I'd love to hear from you. Leave a comment in the box below and let me know what you think of my restoration hardware inspired living room. Now, I do have a lifestyle channel here on YouTube, so if you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and be sure to give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you next time.